What's up, YouTube? This is Kentucky Sweet. I know I've been gone for a while, but I haven't done a video since July, I think, which was after my first um, my first doctor's appointment, my consultation, seeing the psychologist, and all that. Um, I've been waiting and waiting, 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 and about I guess a month ago, I got a letter in the mail saying that the insurance has some concerns because when I was talking with the psychologist and the nutritionist, I used the word binge. I said that I binged um, like once a month. And I probably used the wrong word. <laughs> I probably should have said overeat. I overeat sometimes um, in bulk like once a month. But anyway, that caused to put things on hold and I had to go back and meet with the nutritionist and things like that. Um, I also had to get documentation from my um, family doctor of a six month diet or exercise plan or something that I have done under a doctor's care for at least six months. Um, it took me forever to get that. I kept calling my doctor and calling my doctor and they've just moved into a new part of the building and it was just awful. So then I finally got a hold of him and he drafted a letter. Not what I told him to do. So he drafted the letter and faxed it and they're like, that's not what we need. We needed this. We needed this. So she gave me a form to fill out. They mailed it to me. And um, I took it to them to fill out. And he filled it out wrong and faxed it to her. So when I went the last time to meet with my nutritionist, um, I took it with me. I took my hard copy with me. And she sat down and, you know, wrote little notes of exactly what the insurance wanted. So I went yesterday and, no, the day before yesterday. Was it yesterday? It was yesterday. Yesterday was Monday. I'm on fall break, so I'm confused about my, my days. We're all four weeks. Yesterday was Monday, so I went yesterday and showed him exactly what um, the insurance needed. Because that right now, that's the only thing that's holding me up is getting the paperwork done. There's so much paperwork that has to be done. So I did that, and I turned it in. I talked to them today, and she said that um, it will take the hospital a maximum of three weeks to process that and then we're good to go. We'll be able to um, schedule a date. Let me back up for a minute. The paperwork isn't the only thing that was um, postponing this. I um, went for a pap smear. I have PCOS. I know I've mentioned that in my first video. I have polycystic ovarian syndrome and I had had a miscarriage two years ago and I was still having difficulties from that because of my disease. So I've been going, whoop, my dog's working. I've been going to a fertility specialist trying to get my hormones under control. That's why the medicines I was telling you make me gain and things like that. Then trying to get my hormones under control. Well, <clears throat> in doing all that, I completely forgot they had done so many other things. I completely forgot about having a pap smear last year. And I should have had it in last November. And I didn't. And when I realized this, I, um, you know, set up an appointment to get my pap smear done. And um, they called me back and said, if you could hold on just for a second, my... My kids, I don't know how to edit this, so I know y'all probably be cracking up. My kids are so loud in the back. Just hold on.
Yeah, that's my cat chilling on the back. It's Pepper. Say hi, Pepper. <laughs> anyway, pull the thing. Okay, so I went and had um, a pap smear done. And I was off for the summer. And, uh, you know, hadn't heard anything for a few weeks. Started back to school. And the third day of school, we're going to have an assembly. And I get a phone call saying, um, and it's my doctor, so I'm like, my gynecologist, so I'm like, why would he be calling me, <laughs> you know, so he calls me, and he says, um, we found some abnormal cells, we want to do a coloscopy, and uh, a biopsy and all that, well, well, he said he found some precancer cells, so they went in, and they did all that, I mean, it just devastated me, and um, I was depressed and, you know, trying to go through things. So with all that, everything came out okay. They are pre-cancer cells, so it's not active right now. They did what they had to do. But that kind of postponed my, um, my weight loss surgery, my lap band procedure. And then I had to go back after that and have another physical and you know, get clearance from my doctor and all that. So that's taken a little bit longer too because I should have been having my surgery this Thursday. But um, like I said, because of all this, I've had to postpone it. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, oh my mom. I think that's it. I'll let you all know. Once I hear back from them, they said three weeks maximum. Um, my insurance, I have a secondary insurance now. So, um, whatever, however much it was I told you that I was going to have to pay, it was like a $500 program fee that everybody has to pay on top of like a thousand something dollars. I won't have to pay that thousand something dollars, so I'm going to have my complete surgery done for $500, which is the program fee. So that's a plus for me. Um, I have been walking every night. I go up to the track. I do at least eight laps walking. I have bad knees, so there's no way that I can run with all this weight on me with these knees. But um, I've been walking every night, trying to get the hang of things. I've been watching my portions of what I'm eating already, just trying to get ready for this. I am so ready for this. But, um... Yeah, I'll let you all know when I hear from them. You you will hear from them better. You will hear from me. So just give me an update. I tried to look a little better this time because usually I look all busted when I'm doing these videos. I said these people probably think I'm some type of slouch, but I did a little something to my hair, wore it down, got a nice little top on. But anyway, see you guys.